In this video, I'm going to show you a defense that stops a lot of what Gun Bunch is going to try to do in the Madden Classic. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Now, if you're new to the channel and you've never been here before, my channel is entirely devoted to helping you become a better Madden player as we try ourselves to become the best Madden player that we can be in. So if you want to join us in that journey, if you want to subscribe to the channel, it's completely free. And what subscribing basically means is it just means that you're going to know whenever we release a new video that can help you become a better player. So um, it's completely free to subscribe. Be sure to do that for me. Uh, I would appreciate that a lot. And uh, today we're going to dive into some match defense. We're going to talk a little bit more about the cover four quarters uh, against Gun Bunch. And I want to share with you um, another adjustment that I like to make. Or basically it's kind of a hybrid coverage um, that I like to use whenever I'm playing uh, Gun Bunch. Cover four quarters is one of the easiest defenses, in my opinion, to adjust out of. Because you start, you start in a specific type of coverage and then you can essentially work out of that. So... Um, what we're going to do is we're going to run that cover four show two. I believe it's probably the, to me right now, it's the best defense in the entire game. That cover four show two from three, three, five wide. You could run it in three to four different ways. You can run it with zone drops. You can run it with, I mean, you can run it with pretty much infinite ways, but you can run the match version. You can run the zone drop version. You can run the blitz version. You can, I mean, there's so many things you can do with it. So anyway, uh, cover four show two. And all we're going to do is we're going to pinch our defense. As you can see here, it's going to bring everybody down. And what I like to do is I like to try to bring these guys down into the box and right over the tackle. Okay, right over the tackle and into the box. I think it helps them with their plays. I think it helps with the run support, everything. Okay. Now all we're going to do is essentially we're going to create a cover, um, a cover six. Maybe even a cover, technically it might even be a cover three cloud, but but anyway, cover six is essentially what we're going for here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the safety on the left side, and we're going to put him into a deep half. We're then going to take the outside quarter uh, on the left side. We're going to put him into a soft squat, so he's going to kind of play uh, relatively smooth. I mean, rel just he's just going to play relatively well. We're going to keep the matching principles of every other every other route on the field, the only thing that we might occasionally do is we might put that safety in the right side. I want to watch the, how this play works a little bit. Um, there's one route combination that you need to be concerned about. And then all we're going to do is we're going to man up the uh, wide receiver on the right, as you can see right there. And then we're just going to use her in the middle of the field. I'm going to click off and just kind of watch how this plays. But I just want to show you this is how, I mean, I think this will be a very, very good defense. As you'll see right here, everything gets matched up and you have deep halves across the board. Now the one thing that is going to be a little bit of an issue is if they do run a true, and I mean a true four verticals concept. So I want to talk a little bit about that real quick, and I also want to talk a little bit about the, the, um, the seam flat zone. What the seam flat zone does is essentially it, at least from my learning about it a little bit, is it plays the seam first and then the flat, hence the name, um, obviously, seam flat. And so, because it's it plays in that order, um, it, it can be a, it can be a very beneficial zone to use. And the the cool part about it is you can typically put that in. You can hot route to that. You don't have to have that stock. And what you'll see here, seam flat. If you watch it here, he is going to do a really good job. As you see right there, he gets the bump on the receiver that delays the streak and gives my my corner time to recover. Now, let me show you a quarter flat. I want you to show it's the same exact. Um, color of zone but it's a different way of playing it so now what I want to do is show you this and again we want to set up our cover two defense on that side of the field just like that right there and now I just want to I want you to watch R1 that's the only player I want you to watch on this play so snap of the ball R1 doesn't get jammed now Jair Alexander is way behind him and he glitches out at the end of the whole thing Again, simple little adjustments like this can make a big, big, big difference in how your defense plays. So now let me show you this adjustment. So again, cover four, show two. I'm going to bring this guy down. I'm going to put him in a deep half. I'm going to bring this guy over. I'm going to leave him in his zone. And then I'm going to put the outside corner on the left in a soft squat. And I'm going to take the linebacker, man him up. And then the last thing is to take that and make sure we get a seam flat on the field. That's going to help with the bump and run coverage. And if you watch now... Now Adams is going to get pressed at the snap of the ball and watch Jair Alexander recover on him. 
he gets back. So if I try to bomb, Jair Alexander is going to pick that off. As you see, he has just enough time to be able to get back in case there's a bomb. You can't lob that streak. You have to sh you have to hard inside pass lead that streak. And really, even with Gunslinger, it's a tough throw. Um, so, And that's the one thing you can do. Now, another setup, and it might be a little bit easier for you if you don't want to put seam flats on the field so that you can get the jams. That's okay as well. Um, what you can also do is you can simply do this. Bring this safety down, put him in a deep half, bring this safety down, put him in an inside third, and then take the corner on the left side and put him in a soft squat. That's it. And then again, I, I would recommend manning up um, circle. And the biggest reason why I would do that is there are some um, combinations that people are going to use, and I, I don't have them off the top of my head, but effectively what it's going to boil down to is if they have um, if they're running the Jets playbook, they might have this guy on a you know like a corner route. Well, that man up is going to really make that difficult to throw. Okay, by manning that up, that's going to be a hard throw, and the out route's going to be a little bit more effective than a corner route. Corner route will. But anyway, this right here is a pretty effective defense. Again, you've got your soft squat, you've got your deep half here on this left side, and then if you take here, bring him down. And then again, that cross man uh, feature does so much for your defense. Now, if you take a look at the defense, this is one of the best plays in the entire game. Clear out with the option route here as a check down, and then maybe doing some motioning out or, or whatever. But if you watch this play, every route is pretty much bagged deep. They can't throw, you know, the only route that's really there is the tight end post deep. The thing about the tight end post, though, is let me just show you, and I just want you to only watch on this play. I just want you to watch the tight end post route. Okay, I just that's the only route that I want you to watch on this play. And again, I like to drag these guys down. If you don't have time to, it's okay, especially if you're putting that inside third. If you don't have the inside third there, you definitely need to drag them down. If you don't want to put that inside third there, I highly recommend dragging them down. But anyways, if we take a look at this here, and I just want you to watch uh, the tight end on this play. You'll see that post is pretty much taken. I mean, right there, it's open, but look at that deep half break on the ball, right? If they low ball that, that's there. And again, your tight end is probably your responsibility, right? That's the easiest route for you to probably cover. It's in the middle of the field. It's a crossing route. Any crossing route from right to left is kind of your route in this situation. So, you know, that's, that's another thing. Obviously, if you know that they're going to run this setup, right, it might be beneficial to... To, to, to not put that double not put that combination on the, on the right and just simply do this right you don't have to do that you can do it like this right here this will pretty much take away everything that they want to do um, the one problem with it is sometimes and as you see right there I mean we're able to take that away completely so so anyways that's a little bit about cover four quarters um, a little bit about of an adjustment you can soft squat out of it which is really really nice you can create a um, essentially a cover cover two. One other adjustment, and I don't talk about this a ton, but I I, I think it's actually really good. So um, one other thing you can do is you can man him up, do everything the same here. We're going to bring this guy down, put him on inside third, right? Everything's the same. But now what we're going to do is we're going to do a little swap exchange here, um, and we're going to put that linebacker on the left side. He's going to go into a seam flap. And then what we're going to do is we're going to essentially man up the outside corner on the running back and man up the safety on the square receiver. Now, I know that's a lot of adjustments, but this is, is very adjusty coverage, but it's really good. Um, it's really, really, really good. The man coverage is absolutely insane, as you can see here. And it's just very difficult because you have inside leverage. You're going to be able to take away post routes, cross routes, anything like that. And then, obviously, you're able to take away the tight end yourself. So... That is some other stuff. Uh, let me really quickly show you an instant replay. One last thing on this. But if you take a look at the seam flat on the left side, if you watch him here, you see that he, see, see at the position that he gets here, he matches the streak because there's nobody back there. you know, And he's in a pretty good position for any kind of slant or anything like that. So anyways, that's a little bit about the cover, really cover six hybrid coverage out of the cover four quarters. 
Thanks for watching this video. If you want to get a free sample to the ebook, that is in my text message membership. It's completely free to you to sign up for that. Every week we release new uh, tips and strategies and schemes and full ebooks into our text message crew. Um, and you can hit me up via text. My number is 812-216-3644. Also, if you want to get the full version of the 335 wide defense something i've been running pretty much all season and it's been very effective for me um, and very effective i think for a lot of people that link is in the description of this video thanks for watching today guys i hope you enjoyed the video hope you enjoyed the tip and uh, we will see you guys on stream tonight at 10 o'clock p.m eastern time